Welcome again. I am Dr. Suvrat Arya, consultant rheumatologist practicing in Delhi NCR. We have already discussed the introduction and pathogenesis of rheumatoid arthritis. Now let's see what are the clinical features of rheumatoid arthritis. Rheumatoid arthritis can present as polyarticular disease with a gradual onset. This is also known as classic RA or the mo it is the most common presentation of rheumatoid arthritis. Then the next is acute onset intermittent joint involvement. It is less common as compared to the polyarticular disease. Then comes the migratory joint involvement which is also known as palindromic involvement. And then the least common is the monoarticular disease. We are going to discuss all of them separately. About one third of the patients can have myalgia, fatigue, low grade fever, weight loss and depression. These are the commoner extra-articular manifestations which can be seen in, uh, in RA patients and we are going to see other extra-articular manifestations as well. So let us discuss the typical classic RA and how it presents. It is insidious onset associated with pain and stiffness and swelling of the joints. Insidious onset means a patient cannot tell you exact date and time when the symptoms started. It is just so gradual that he cannot pinpoint exact day. He can say maybe few weeks back, few months back, but cannot pinpoint to exactly one particular day. Pain is there, we all know. Stiffness is there, especially in the early morning. That is why it is called as early morning stiffness and there is swelling of the joints. Early morning stiffness is defined as slowness or difficulty moving the joints when getting out of bed or after staying in one position for too long. The most important aspect here is it gets better with the movement. Morning stiffness lasting more than one hour rarely occurs in any other disease other than rheumatoid arthritis. Some studies have shown the severity of morning stiffness correlates with the joint inflammation. That is the intensity and severity of early morning stiffness correlates with the joint inflammation. Now what are the joints which are involved first? The small joints of hand and feet are the first joints to get affected by rheumatoid arthritis. These are metacarpophalangeal joints, proximal interphalangeal joints, interphalangeal joint of the thumb, wrist and metatarsophalangeal joints. These are affected early in the disease. We should also remember DIPs are usually not affected. Similarly, the great toe joint is usually not affected. And the base of the thumb, that is first carpometacarpal joint, is also usually not affected. The DIP and the base of the thumb, that is first carpometacarpal joint, are usually affected in the degenerative process like psoriatic arthritis. And the base of the first thumb, that is the great toe, the first metatarsophalangeal joint, is usually more commonly affected in the gout. Once these small joints are affected, other joints of upper and lower limbs, like elbow, shoulder, ankle and knees, are also eventually affected. Now this is the classical image of a patient of rheumatoid arthritis. You can see there is swelling at the metacarpophalangeal joints and there is swelling at the PIP joints. The DIP joints are spared, there is no swelling. Now one important clinical pearl here is, if you ask a patient to make a fist and see the grooves between the metacarpophalangeal joints, you would see if patient has swelling of these joints, these grooves will be absent. So there is fullness in the areas in between the two metatarsal heads. If you look closely here, you can very well see ridges over the proximal interphalangeal joints, whereas these ridges are missing here. So because of stretch of the skin, the transverse skin ridges over the PIP joints are missing or they are reduced. So these give us an indication only on inspection that these joints are swollen and inflamed. Coming to palindromic rheumatism, a person has episodic symptoms, it is sequential and migratory. What does it mean? A person of palindromic rheumatism will come to me and say, I had right wrist pain and swelling and right elbow pain and swelling and after 7 days these joints became normal and now I am having pain and swelling in the left knee and the left ankle. This is what happens in palindromic rheumatism. It is sequential and it is migratory and it is episodic. That means 
a person may have alternating symptom free periods he may be asymptomatic for 7 days he may be asymptomatic for 1 month 2 month that period of without symptom can vary from person to person if these patients of palindromic rheumatism have anti citrullinated peptide antibodies this predicts the progression to full blown rh so even if a patient of palindromic rheumatism comes to you never forget to order rheumatoid factor and anti ccp because if those tests come positive